Our country is still grieving from the recent mass shootings while debating access and rights to guns. Today, gun stores in the state of Washington are reporting record sales as the state prepares to enact two new firearm laws. The first law bans high-capacity magazines, which limits the maximum ammunition capacity to 10 rounds. This law prohibits the manufacturing, importing, distribution, and selling of large-capacity magazines. The second law going into effect regulates the manufacturing, assembling, selling, and purchasing of untraceable firearms. We know that as ghost guns. I want to bring in Washington State Democratic Governor Jay Inslee for more on this. Governor, thanks so much for being with us. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Well, as we know, your state of Washington is an open carry state. And earlier this month, the Second Amendment Foundation, as you know, and other gun rights organizations filed this lawsuit claiming that new laws like these violate the protections of the Second and Fourteenth Amendments. Let's just begin with what do you say to those who oppose these new laws? Well, first, what I would say is our citizens deserve protection from mass shootings. They deserve uh, protection from being assaulted with guns that are not traceable. And third, there is one bill we also have that I think is important. They deserve not to be intimidated when they go to a school board meeting to talk about their children's education, to have somebody intimidating them by uh, holding a rifle right in front of their nose. So that we have a bill also that will prohibit uh, open carrying of these weapons at school board meetings and other public meetings. So these laws are entirely consistent with the original intent of the Second Amendment. As you know, it said no law, uh, you know, a, a, a well-regulated militia being necessary for the security of a free state. There is no reason that you should allow a person to intimidate another citizen with a rifle at a school board meeting and it is not necessary to a well-regulated militia for a free state to have 20 rounds to, to participate in mass murders. This has, these, these laws do not <laughs> in any way trammel on the ability for us to have a well-regulated militia. The Supreme Court is simply wrong on the Second Amendment in this regard. And we are gonna to continue to enforce these safety provisions our state because A, they're common sense, B, they have been shown to reduce mass shootings. And importantly, they are uh, widely held views by the vast, vast majority of Washingtonians. The Supreme Court is totally out of step. They're now trying to impose, impose minority rule, which is anti-democratic on this, on the, a woman's right of choice, on the ability to deal with climate change. We ought to have majority rule in this country. And the majority rule in this country says we ought to have protection from rampant violence with these weapons of war. I also know you're going to be meeting with the president today uh, on, on some of uh, those other issues. We'll get to that in just a second. But let's just kind of break down uh, this new law on high capacity magazines. Um, stop your constituents from traveling outside the state to obtain these magazines and then bring them back home. How exactly is this going to work? Well, it's on the books. It's a law. It'll, it'll work like every other law we have. It'll uh, reduce the number of people that, that violate the law. There may be some scoff laws that attempt to, to violate it, but it's pretty clear that there is no reason for self-protection, hunting, or any other legitimate activity to have to have more than 10 rounds in your weapon. Um, you know, uh, unless people are being assaulted uh, by the 10th battalion in their home, you don't need more than 10 uh, bullets in your gun to provide protection for yourself or your family. They have one purpose. These are weapons of war. They were designed to kill dozens of people in seconds. And that is the only purpose they're only man manufactured for. And that is not a legitimate purpose. We've seen too many mass murders. AR-15s are now becoming the iconic sort of totemic weapon to demonstrate uh, your insanity. And that's got to stop. And our people want protection against that. Now, I have to tell you that all of this is at risk because the Supreme Court has this maniacal belief that the only thing that, uh, if, it, if it wasn't in on the books on the day the Second Amendment came in, uh, we're not going to force it. That's nuts. There weren't assault weapons in existence at that time. Of course, there weren't laws against it. There weren't drones that can drop grenades either. But we ought to be able to regulate those things. 
All right. And finally, you mentioned uh, you're about overturning Roe versus Wade. And today, you and several other governors are set to meet virtually with President Biden to discuss efforts to protect access to reproductive health care. Tell me uh, what you hope will come out of this meeting. What exactly you're going to say to the president? Uh, first, going to thank him for uh, agreeing to get rid of the filibusters so we can pass a national protection and we'll share all our ideas to protect sanctuary states. Our state is a sanctuary state. We're gonna ask the federal government to partner with us to protect women who do come here for this uh, very important personal right. Governor Jay Inslee, appreciate you so much for your time today. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.